Hello everybody, Nintendo 64 here, and welcome back to another video. Basically, just like just like last time, I am poor as fuck and don't have any money, so I'm resorting back to YouTube. Let's and today we're reviewing two of my favorite Funko Pops that I own. This one, a clown from the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space, and this one, James March from American Horror Story Hotel. Let's start with this one. Yeah, okay, I'll show you the box first. So it's got a view of the figure, well, the Funko, with the name Mr. March. AHS Hotel at the Pop, Pop Funko Pop it is, with camera will, the camera will, um, you know, focus. Okay, here we go, 323. On the back, it shows you other characters on here. Like Mr. March at the top. You got Hypodermic Sally and Holden. You can also get one based on Lady Gaga's character, the Countess. But it's not on the back here. Let's get you out, shall we? Do this with one hand. Propping up the camera with the other hand. This is a little difficult. Oh, there we go. Oh, Mr. March is falling out. There we go. Pull that to the side. Here it is. James March. Well, his full name, James Patrick March. For you, who, for you who don't know what American Horror Story Hotel is, this guy runs the hotel. He was a murderer. He built the hotel to kill people, and the costume he was wearing was the very last thing he wore before he died. That he died wearing this. After the cops actually found out it was him doing the murdering, they um, tracked him down to the hotel him and his maid barricade themselves in, in a room, and he shot his maid in the head and then slit his throat, and they both died, and now haunt the hotel ever since. I think it's quite cool, like this clothes he's wearing, you can see it's like some sort of helmet, because he's got like straps on the back, holding a bottle of what I could presume would be like some sort of poison, and these cool little goggles. I think it's cool that they made, that they sculpted the figure in these clothes that he's wearing, I think it's pretty cool. And this is one of my favourite Funko Pops in my collection. In fact, these two are my two favourite Funko Pops in my collection. Because these are really rare in this country. Like, really rare. This costs, let's see, $50, I think. Brand new. If, we were in Amer if I was in America, getting one of these would not be a problem. But in England, this seems to be a lot hard. But this was a birthday present that I got. So, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Anyways, put him to the side there, and bring in Slim the Clown from an old horror movie called Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And on the back, it doesn't have any other characters, but it does have the original poster from the movie. They make aliens look like a circus. Indeed, they do. This is pop number eight. There we go. 822, and this is an exclusive Funko Pop for the New York Comic Con, which has ended now, but this came out exactly when that came out, which would have been like a few days ago, actually. So yeah, no joke, the story of how I got this one was I literally walked into Fin Forbidden Planet on Saturday, and I saw these two of these start staring right in front of me, I was like, I have to have these because I love Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Sorry. I would show you what the actual cover to the DVD looks like, but I don't have it. I'm currently lending it to a friend, so yeah. Here he is. Slim the Clown. In the movie, there's a scene where he's driving along the road next to a car, but he's actually not in a car. It's like he's in an invisible car and ends up bumping the driver off the road. And there's another scene where he's doing hand puppets for an audience, but turns a hand puppet into... Well, no, not have a shadow puppets and turns one of the you know the shadow puppet into a dinosaur that comes to life and eats the people. It is a really good movie, and if you want to know about it, I recommend watching Dead Meat's review on it. James A. Denise, amazing YouTuber. And if you want to know how to kill the clowns, literally you got to just pop the nose and confetti will fly out, and then they'll just disappear. Yeah, literally they'll just like spin in a circle and just disappear. It's a really good movie, doesn't really make any brain cells to understand, not meant really to be taken seriously at all, but it's still really funny. It's more of a comedic horror than, like, gory horror. So, well, the only gory thing about it is these 
cotton candy like cocoons that melt your flesh yeah you really should watch the review by by dead meat is really good movie i do recommend it so yeah propping these up against their boxes there you go you got slim the clown from killer clowns from outer space and you got james patrick march from american horror story hotel and there goes a spider. I will deal with you in a minute. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye.